Welcome to this week's uh, FIFA 12 Ultimate Team podcast. This is Christoph. And this is Chu. And this is actually me kind of, what well, kind of, no, signing off. Mm. This is, uh, this is uh, guys, friends. <laughs> this is my last uh, podcast. Uh, it's been a while, eh? Uh, that um, with different partners. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been spinning the beans on Team of the Week and different stuff uh, in FATS. And uh, yeah, I'll actually be, you know, leaving the company uh, to uh, go work uh, uh, somewhere else and a great opportunity and so cool stuff for me but uh, hopefully you're all very sad and crying right now oh i can i can already hear your tears uh, <laughs> from the fans so uh th- that actually that's likely gonna mean some changes for the podcast uh, and but you guys keep your eyes peeled for more information and in the meantime uh, i guess enjoy uh, this one and enjoy the last uh, jokes and songs uh, you'll hear from me uh, as uh, as the the foot dude. So will you be tweeting anymore about foot or? Right, the Twitter accounts, the real growly. <laughs> um, so uh, the idea is that uh, you know this it was kind of the insider account, uh, as you know, and um, because you know I've been working on foot for quite a while now. It was just my way of talking with people, having some. Uh, insider stuff mm-hmm. and obviously i'm not gonna have that anymore so for those of you obviously you want that information still esports fifa that's that's the twitter account this is actually yep. the official account right now mm. so please follow that account and if you want to follow me still uh you won't have the <laughs> inside <laughs> anymore because i'm not gonna have it and uh, feel free to keep following because i guess i'll be saying silly things about football uh, again, that's not going to keep me from doing that. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, again, to confirm, uh, um, my uh, growly uh, Twitter account is not going to be the uh, the kind of unofficial voice of Fat any longer. Uh, again, more tears and, and people crying, definitely, oh, yeah. all uh, over the world. The, the, the women and babies, too, especially. Yeah. <laughs> it's a catastrophe. It's going to be a catastrophe. A, yeah, like a holiday all around the world. <laughs> <laughs> no. um, but let's, let, let's go. Let's move forward with this, uh, this last team of the week for me. And uh, let's start. Uh, hey, there's a few French players in there, see? Yeah, just for you. You know, uh, we're finishing in style. Uh, actually... In style, indeed, he has a kind of a funky-ish haircut. Uh, mm. Mr. Carso opening for Bordeaux. Bordeaux had a really crappy season. Yep. Uh, again, it's been a while that ha- they haven't been doing too too good since they were champion, actually. Uh, but they beat Marseille. So, you know, a big, big rivalry in France uh, back from the 80s, mid-80s. And uh, so it's always when you win that game in your Bordeaux, it's, it's, it, it, the season becomes better. Mm. And so um, he had a great performance, was very instrumental in <laughs> that win. Uh, and that's why he's in our team of the week. Um, that's Cedric Carasso. Next. Um, so now we have uh, Javi Martinez, who we put at center back. It's actually the position yeah. he played at. And um, little known fact, actually, he is a Freddie Prince Jr. brother. And uh, he just lives in Spain. You can look. Oh, really? You can tell the resemblance. Actually, yeah, that's true. Huh. Um, are you <laughs> are you are you truly <laughs> believing me? You, is is that happening for real? So Javi Martinez, um, according to Chu, uh, Freddie Prince Jr. brother. Yeah, uh, apparently. Uh, yes. <laughs> and so uh, good European season for Bilbao, as we've uh, said numerous times. I mean, semi final uh, in Europe at this very point in time, and uh, they also six in the league, uh, and so are chasing uh, another European European spot for this season. And so Javi Martinez in there. It's the second time he's in there. 85 rated center back. Yeah, he's a lot of people are going to be coming for him in the transfer window in the summer, apparently. He's on a lot of people's radar. Nice. So. Well, looks like it's deserved. Ooh, Pepe. And now Pepe. So obviously it was the, the Classico, the, 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 the only one. If you have to name one game across the whole world Classico, that would be Real Barca. And, uh, well, Madrid won that one. Yeah. It had been a very long time. Uh, waiting for the Madrid fans, yeah. but that's a two-one away win and great defensive performance uh, for Pepe. He didn't he get sent off, which is uh, <laughs> another great performance. Ta-da! Stayed on the field. Yeah, he, what, is, what does he have like twice already? Yeah. In those games, well, it's the intensity, right? You have to play at a very high level of intensity, and uh, he controlled himself this time. Eighty-seven rated, nice. Nice. Mr. Schmelzer. 
from Dortmund. Hey, we found a player we hadn't featured. So Dortmund uh, clinched so the uh, this weekend uh, uh, their second title in a row. Um, really not a good start of the season, but then they just went flying and never looked yeah. back. And um, I mean, congratulations. Um, the uh, what's their name again? Uh, whatever the, uh, the yellow and black army. <laughs> uh, the, the name of the fans there deserve it. Great fans in Signal Iduna Stadium. So two zero win over Gladbach. Uh, he had an assist at left back, and uh, and again congratulations to the Dortmund team. Ooh. And uh, we have Mr. Hulk, so we put him at right midfield in our team of the week. But uh, as you can see, he's the right wing, so don't don't worry. He's going to be very offensive, very attacking. One of the favorite players uh, of Fart. <laughs> yeah, for Fart. He's so strong. He's so he's so good. And uh, you know Porto is 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 top of the ring, and they are not champion yet. Benfica can still catch mm. them uh, mathematically, uh, but they won three zero, and uh, he had two goals, one of them a penalty. He had an assist, so basically that's his win. Eighty six rated right wing with ninety pace. So Look at that. could you say his performance was incredible? <laughs> I had to. <laughs> yeah, no, that was very you good. know I had to. Oh, this guy. So I'm a United supporter, and this guy pretty much tormented. Man United's midfield last weekend. I mean, so. yeah. Oh. How do you not focus on his haircut yeah. and and then you just all of a sudden he's, he's passed, he's dribbled you just because you were not looking at the feet. <laughs> That's exactly how he does it. And sometimes he hides the ball in there, and, and you're like, where is the ball? It's oh. in the hair. But seriously, yeah, four, four. Oh, I'm gonna have to cough. <coughs> Woo! I'm mm. a bit sick. Yeah. Which means you're going to be sick too. too. Thanks, right. thanks. That's my uh, farewell yeah, gift. Yeah, your present. Thanks. Yes. Thanks a lot. But yeah, 4-4 um, four, four draw. I mean, come on. What a game. Yeah. And uh, especially with so much at stake in, in England right now at the top of the league. And um, and so, yeah, Fellaini uh, um, just told me to in midfield. And uh, what did he do again? He had, uh, yeah, I had an assist in the goal. But a performance throughout the game. Oh. That gave him his uh, 83 rated in form. Good stuff. Oh, this guy. I like this guy. Johan Kabai. Uh, hopefully, he's going to be brought with us to Euro, as meaning France, of France, course. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he's going to be there because uh, he's having a, a hell of a season as well. Uh, he had a great season last season for Lille. Another great season now in England. And, yeah, that's two goals. One of them, you just need to be there. The other one, a cracker. Mm. And... Um, that's Newcastle right there, chasing uh, chasing third now. Wow. Yeah, they could be in third. Uh, could be interesting. Pretty impressive. Oh. It's a two-run from uh, Atletico Madrid. So uh, we talk about uh, Bilbao on sixth spot in the league, while Atletico are seventh and just behind and just out of Europe. So his performances uh, will hopefully help Atletico, or at least they're giving them a chance. They won 3-1 over Espanol, and two-run uh, scored two goals. Mm, good dribbling stats though. And two very good goals. Mm. So uh, he's, he's seen quite an increase in shooting, actually. And uh, his dribbling was already pretty high. So that that's like a top uh, left midfield for the Spanish league. All of a sudden, great player to have. Oh. Mr. Welbeck. Mr. Welbeck. Love this kid. I think in, I think in two years, he could be actually, I feel personally, that he could be better than Rooney in two years at the rate he's developing. He's developing rapidly. But I guess Man United just hope that you are right. And yeah, yeah he's, he's had some great performances. And, uh, you know, the draw isn't really his fault. Yeah. I mean, it was a 4-4 and he did score. And uh, two assists as well. And so a uh, great performance for him. And that's why he's in Team of the Week now as an 80 rated uh, striker. Mm. Oh, this guy. Mr. Jelavich. So uh, one of the best, I guess, signings of the winter yeah. transfers. By far. And uh, he's been scoring and scoring, and he scored two again against Manu. And uh, in, uh, again, very entertaining game, very decisive game for the title. So, um, uh, among uh, you know, along with Fellaini, two Everton players in there. Vucinic. Hmm. <coughs> and I'm coughing again. That's crazy. Maybe that's why it needs to be in my last podcast. Yeah. yeah I'm not going to be alive at the end. <laughs> and, uh, uh, Don't say that. <laughs> it doesn't sound very good right now. Um... Uh, Vucinic, so uh, Juventus first in the league as well. They haven't secured the title just yet, but you know, four zero win that 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 yeah. I get you there <laughs> fast. Yeah. Very and good um, game. you know, you know, we, we got a few a few Juventus players uh, to choose from that did really great in this game, and it's actually already Vucinic seconds in form. 
But basically, he was involved in four goals. That's why we put him in there. He didn't score, actually. But he was involved in all the goals. So uh, you look at his uh, stats, extremely uh, level. A uh, lot of 80s in there. So a great winger to have in, uh, in, uh, in Italian League if you have a Serie A team. So that was the starting 11. Now we're moving to the subs. And hey, that's a great sub. Uh, Handanovic, uh, Udin is a fourth right now in the league. Mm. A bit less dominant than last year, where they were like, just scoring goal after goal after goal after goal. And so for this one, they had to rely on uh, goalkeeping, which is why Danovic is here. It was, uh, it was a 0 0 away draw, and he did save uh, numerous shots and a penalty. Oh, wow, penalty too. Mr. Jale. Um, so it's, uh, it was a great goal scoring fest for um, PSG 6 1 over oh. social. You know, to kind of stay behind Montpellier. Uh, they are second in the league right now in France. And uh, Jade just did everything he wanted on his, um, on his uh, wing, on his side. And, and he basically just uh, kept crossing and crossing and crossing. And two of his crosses led up to assists. Mm. Uh, so that's why we featured him in, in our team of the week with great passing. Jamaili uh, playing for Napoli. So same thing, Napoli chasing European uh, spots. Um, obviously, they, uh, they they played in Europe this season very well, mm. and uh, they are fifth right now in Italy. And uh, a, a two-zero win of um, relegated Novara, but still, and um, he had a great performance. Gemini, one of the lesser-known players in Napoli, and uh, you know one of the ones that can possibly help them drive towards European spot. And if not, great for the next season. So we got a hat trick from Mr. Thompson Ooh. from Saint Mirren. Uh, St. Mirren, Dumfrey not really a big game by any means, <laughs> but it was a 4-4 four, four draw Is that the real well. El Clasico? That was the El Clasico? Ta-da, oh. the other one. Yeah, that was the other El Clasico. The other one. And, uh, and he's got a hat-trick part of it, so uh, that's why we featured him, and uh, he's there as a top silver player. So if you're building a Scottish team, you'd better have him. Mr. Pontius, um, playing for DC United. They played uh, Red Bull and Red Hot Henry. Mm. Uh, or Henry. What did I say the English yeah. That sounds weird. <laughs> that sounds Thierry patriotic. Henry. There you go. And uh, Chris Pontius. Uh, that doesn't sound very Is good that? with a French accent. No, that sounds better than Henry. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Pontius uh, scored three goals um, uh, for DC United. And um, yeah, that's an MLS. That's... Uh, that's a good win for them, and that's uh, that's pretty much all I have on those. And that's uh, going into the end of our, uh, of our team of the week. We have uh, Arizona playing in Mexico. It was kind of the play of the day um, because he scored two goals in a 3-0 away win against Unam. So there you go. A bit pacey. And we do have an Austrian player in there. Mm. He was the Enst- Austrian grand finale of the A-League oh. this weekend. So uh, interestingly enough, Perth... Um, which uh, Burns played for didn't win, uh, but he was the man of the of the match. They played ten men. They held on one one, and at the last, like deep into injury time, they conceded. Apparently, uh. it was a controversial penalty, and they lost the final. Mm. Uh, still, he was the man of the match, and he's uh, featured here as a as a top bronze player with some pretty cool stats. Look at that seventy seven defending. Nice. That's nice. Yep, and that's it for uh, for this week's team of the week. Uh, one last look uh, at this formation, yeah, between uh, Pepe, Udan, Kabai, um, Vucinic. We do have some great uh, players out there for you to choose from. And uh, don't forget that uh, we're uh, heading into the end of the seasons, which means, uh, you know, teams of the year galore that are going to be coming your way. So you have that to expect in the coming weeks. So more communication. Stay tuned on eSports FIFA Twitter on the esportsfootball.com articles as well for more information. And uh, as for me, this is my uh, official last uh, goodbye. Uh, adieu. Oh, real French. Yeah. yeah that was the French And uh, it was fun uh, working with you, actually working for you guys for the past uh, couple of years and a, and a bit. And, uh, you know, I hope to see you guys soon in some uh, form or the other. So uh, have fun playing fat. And uh, and bye bye. See you guys later. Okay, bye.